And Thada Adele is a Morphulk Rogue. Whenever Thada Adele Inquisitor deals combat damage to a player, search that player's library for an artifact card and exile it. Then that player shuffles his or her library until end of turn, you may play that card. It's really nice for us because with rogues, we don't generate a lot of uh, mana advantage. So <clears throat> perhaps getting into some mana rocks, some low cost mana rocks like Soul Ring, um, even some of the even more <clears throat> exquisite ones, maybe like a Jeweled Lotus, for instance, would be very cool. Just to, you never know, some people play those cards and you know if they happen to be doing that, you know, we can go ahead and put that on the battlefield and, uh, you know, maybe get a cheaper Anawan out. So there's there's different lines, and Thada Adele is just a nice one for this. So very cool card there. Ah, the Bees Guild Enforcer. This one's a very nice flash rogue. Um, it doesn't have the, like, evasiveness, um, so to speak, but it, it gets turned on. It gets a 2-1 buff and death touch as long as there's eight or more cards in an opponent's graveyard. And this is also just really fits into the nice thing where um, a lot of our rogues will have more buffs based on, like, the amount of cards in, the, um, in our opponent's um, graveyards. Uh, for instance, like, um, uh, the Thought you'll see the um the the two mana one these were around standard and they did very well arnie hushmob um hushmob oh god his last name is german he's a um, very good very good magic player he also has his own mtg channel of course um so yeah you know definitely um saw him take the title so with the with the rogues um in a best of three format too hushmob i think that's his last name arnie so yeah um, obviously a very powerful card and um, definitely works well with our rogues. All right. And there's a Reliquary Tower. That is the one that will um, grant us a maximum, no maximum hand size, of course. So very useful for this deck. Arcane Signet, just a very nice mana rock here. We grant any of our colors and our colors. Commander's color identity um, when we tap it for the low cost of two. Ice Tunnel, just a nice dual land. Um, and it's ice, it's a snow land too, so that also works for us. It's one of our only lands that will come in um, uh, not not untapped, um, including our Fabled Passage if it comes in, um, you know, before, um, you know, turn four. Again, we also have a slow dual land as well. It will um, only come in untapped after our third land being played, so we do have a couple like that. And we also are playing like a fast land too, where, um, like a copper line gorge for gruel where you have to play it um before uh, it'd be your third land or less to come in untapped so we have a couple contingent dual lands here and there but nothing too crazy <clears throat> here it is wrinkle wrinkle's good here of course wrinkle's always good we're gonna have a lot of creatures that we um you know are gonna be having this would be very good with like a bitter blossom on the battlefield something that gives us a little bit of fodder and um, we might not be sad about sacrificing really it gets cooking uh you know can you know, act as removal, can help us draw some cards, help our, you know, even, um, we won't, we won't be too sad about discarding because we'd be drawing so many cards and, you know, so all the modes seem pretty decent for us here. All right, here's the Malachar Rebirth. Just a fantastic card. I can see this going very well with like our Dothy Voidwalker, so to speak, and anything that like kind of gets targeted, we can just have this, the spell that can act like as a, as a land. And um, additionally, we could, at instant speed, we can um, return a card that would be destroyed that turn to the battlefield that would come in tapped under our control. And we also lose two life in the exchange too. So a very nice card there, the Malachar Rebirth. Here's Command Tower. Sig, Sig is always good. We just have to meet the criteria for dealing three damage or uh, an opponent losing three or more life in a turn cycle. And um, that's any turn cycle so at the beginning of each turn step, if an opponent lost three or more life this turn, you may draw a card. So just a very good card engine. So our opponents will be hurting each other, and then we'll be getting cards. This is like the the, the sweetest tutor that we can have, you know offer a suggestion for if you're looking for a really nice tutor for your deck, because this is this is the one where you know um, a savvy opponent will realize they're just going to mill something good into their their library when you play this card, because the point is that. You tutor up a card, and then you swing with Anwan, and you mill that card into their graveyard while you you draw a card. And, you know the purpose is for you to draw that that card, um, you know, because of Anwan's ability of 
you know, granting that card advantage when cards are milled into the graveyard. So it's just a really awesome tutor for the low cost of one, too. Works very well for us. <clears throat> Here's a Thieving Skydiver. We really leaned this deck out. We had like cards, um, like Extinction Event in here. And, and I, I really just want to kind of give Anawan a chance with these, um, you know, the ones and twos and really see how far we can get with the cards. You know, I think the Teferi is very good for us. And um, we can just kind of, you know, also beat down opponents too. So I like the idea of a Thieving Skydiver, you know, stealing like someone's, you know, nice Mana Rock, Mana Accelerant, and um, just kind of moving from there. So yeah, that's a good one. We got Felwar Stone here, Exotic Orchard. Moving through our lands. We have a pretty decent land count here. You know, we need it. Uh, Kindred Discovery, that's the one that um, is just so very good. When we play a rogue, we just name rogue. And we draw a card when that rogue enters the battlefield. And additionally, when that rogue um, just attacks, it doesn't even have to deal combat damage, we will draw a card too. So it's very fantastic. Agonim's Awakening, just an all-star for our deck because we'll have like a one to four curve and we'll be able to return lots of creature cards um, in, in, in the mid game with this. Dark Witcher roll, just a nice accelerant here for us. Looking to like cast that, you know, for, Turn one black market connections would be fantastic, of course. Watery Grave, there we go. Just our nice Shockland, Rhystic Study. We tend to discuss this card earlier. There's a Soaring Thought Thief. This is like one of the rogues that really benefits for the opponents having um, uh, <clears throat> cards into their graveyard. So it has Flash 2 and um, Flying. As long as the opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, rogues you control get one O. Oh, whenever one or more Rogues, you control the attack. Each opponent mills two cards. So there we go. Fantastic. And I know we have uh, the other Shieldren in here. Ah, oh, Faceless Haven too. Sweet. So we're just going to activate this with our Snowlands and make another Rogue. Sounds great. It's a Changeling too. Yay, Faceless Haven. Very excited. Glad it still made the cut. Uh, Merfolk, Wind Robber. Just a nice one drop here that's flying. And then we can also sacrifice it to draw a card if an opponent um, has uh, eight or more cards in their graveyard. Very cool. You know, I really think maybe Lurus should be in the 99 for this deck too, looking at it. So we'll see about that. Lurus is kind of the kind of the OG rogue, right? A non-rogue that is a rogue. Oh, but it has white in its... Um, that's why it never made the initial cut, because it has white in its mana cost, because it's dual black-white. Yeah, that's why you can't play Lurus in this deck, unfortunately. Uh, there's a knowledge exploitation here. Um, this is the one that lets you, um, whenever you hit with a rogue on a turn, you can play the prowl cost. And uh, you can search an opponent's library for an instant or sorcery and play that card without paying its mana cost. So looking for something juicy there and then uh, really going off. So this is one of those, this would like, uh, you know, the card that we had mentioned earlier, the Notorious Throng, kind of just works, you know, simultaneously with just very strong um, tribal synergy spells for rogues and here we go i believe this is our last card here is uh sheldred and um just a just another fantastic sheldred and this one is just going to have some good removal there for um the opponents will have to sacrifice a non-token creature <coughs> or planeswalker when this enters the battlefield each opponent will have to do that <coughs> and then we're we're going to be loading up all the graveyards with stuff so um, for five mana, you can transform this thing, and then you can play the true scriptures here. So for each opponent, destroy up to one target creature or planeswalker that player controls. Each opponent discards three cards, then mills three cards. Put all creature cards from graveyards on the battlefield under your control. Exile the true scriptures, then return it to the battlefield. So this one's nice. So not only do we get to have them sacrifice a non-token, then when we flip this thing, for each opponent, we can destroy a target creature or planeswalker that player controls, so we get to select. Then on stage two, each opponent discards three cards, then mills three cards, so really devastating. Lots of value. Then for three, put all creature cr cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control, exile the troop scrippers, and return to the battlefield. Ah! So, yeah. I like this one. There's also um, the Jenga Taxis, and it was just kind of a little bit slower. I think this one's nice. You kind of get the... Uh, effect immediately for that sacrifice so always very beneficial right so that's it i apologize that this video went into two 
Uh, so, you know, if you're having to, you know, go through the two videos, it was not intentional. I, uh, my battery had died and, you know, I'm just on my day off here. Just took a day because I needed one. And uh, so I just kind of get to hang out and relax a little bit. But um, please check out both of them. And, uh, you know, they're really great. I think this was one of my better kind of updates here. The deck seems really nice and uh, serviceable. So I think you'll really enjoy some of the ideas that were uh, presented today. So have a wonderful day. Goodbye.